Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be stepping outside of movie reviews just for a little bit though. Gotta switch things up, make it more interesting because we're all about having fun on this channel. So what this video is, it's a collaboration with my good friend Samantha from YouTube. Her channel name is London City Girl TV. Yeah, she's from London. That's kick ass. So if you're looking for someone that gives good movie and TV reviews that is also very informative and very classy, Samantha's the girl to watch. She's very good at what she does, so I'll leave a link below for the collaboration video so you guys can check that out. And subscribe to her because she's awesome. So in this collaboration video, I'm going to be talking about my personal favorite top five movie trilogies of all time. And there's a lot of trilogies out there. Some really good and some shit. Some really bad, like... <clears throat> Thankfully, it's a top five, so I won't be saying any of those bad trilogies. And when I'm going to be talking about my top five, I'm going to explain why I love it and what's going to be my favorite and least favorite of the trilogy. And I hope that most of you guys will recognize them because they are pretty popular franchises. So let's get this list started. Number five. Kicking off this list on number five is a franchise that is written and directed by Robert Zemeckis and is produced by Steven Spielberg, and that is the Back to the Future trilogy. Not only did you have groundbreaking material in this trilogy, but you also had an awesome on-screen cast which consists of Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd. The iconic dynamic duo of Marty McFly and Doc Brown, what's not to love about them? Their chemistry with one another, it worked for every single movie in this trilogy. It even works with my least favorite of the trilogy, which is the third one, but my most favorite of the trilogy trilogy is the original Back to the Future. There's just something about going back in time and just messing with your parents' destiny that just makes it so charming. But don't make out with your mom, because that's wrong. That is what this trilogy teaches. And if you look at some of the material in this trilogy, like the special effects, you can tell it's a little bit outdated. Toss all that aside and get engaged with the characters and the story, and I promise you will have a fun-ass time with it. Back to the Future is a great adventure trilogy with good characters, awesome story with an even awesome villain with an even more awesome theme song. And that's the power of love. Iconic Huey Lewis in the news. Very well deserving for my top five spot. Okay, so number four. Coming in at number four is an action sci-fi trilogy that is written and directed by James Cameron. Well, at least the first two for that matter. And that is the Terminator trilogy. I don't include the McG version Terminator because that's not a movie. That doesn't count. The first three Terminators, pretty solid movies. I kind of actually enjoyed the third Terminator movie, even though it's my least favorite, but my most favorite of all of them, it's actually the original Terminator. Because there's just something so awesome about a cyborg going back in time on a mission trying to kill the mother of the resistance. Because if Sarah Connor's dead, then that means John Connor doesn't exist, and mankind is basically screwed, but Kyle Reese, he doesn't want that. And in my opinion, I think Human vs. Cyborg is better than Cyborg vs. Cyborg like in Terminator 2. Makes it a little bit more more exciting. But what this trilogy has to offer is that it steps over the boundaries of the sci-fi genre. Not only did this movie have action and pretty decent special effects, which was actually groundbreaking during its time, but she also had a very dark and compelling story and backstory to go along with it. Very original and unexpected for a sci-fi movie during its time. And probably the most quotable action movie there is, honestly. Come with me if you want to live. I'll be back. Come on, you gotta know those lines. Even if you haven't seen the movie, you know where it's from. Very serving as my number four spot. Okay, so number three. Coming in at number three is a franchise that is created by both Steven Spielberg and George Lucas, and that is the Indiana Jones trilogy. Because the movie where they got back together and made it about aliens, that didn't happen. There's only three Indiana Jones. There's only three. And just like Back to the Future, Indiana Jones reshaped the whole adventure genre. Probably even more than Back to the Future did. Because Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones is probably one of the most iconic characters and casting in movie history. Every time Harrison Ford is on screen, you get hooked onto him immediately and you do not get bored of him. You could be the manliest of men, but you'll still end up having a man crush on Indiana Jones. Because we all do, there's no shame in it. Like if you look at the trilogy as a whole, it's pretty light tone, even though some stuff is pretty dark. Like when he had the face melted and the head exploding in Raiders of the Lost Ark, awesome. And light tone because you have that annoying chick from the Temple of Doom. Why did she need to be in there? I'm dead serious, if you have the Blu-ray for the Temple of Doom, watch it for a good 30 minutes, then come back to me. You've never wanted to punch a woman that hard in the face. Where she's like, oh Andy, I'm a singer. If I was Indiana Jones, I would've been like, yeah, enjoy singing with the snakes, bitch. Yeah, Temple of Doom being my least favorite, but my most favorite is Raiders of the Lost Ark. An absolute classic, and I absolutely look at The Last Crusade as the true Indiana Jones 
Jones sequel because not the Temple of Doom. But I will give the Temple of Doom this. It had Indiana Jones in it and he was being Indiana Jones. So I can't bash on the movie because of the character. Overall, this trilogy is a lot of fun and has an iconic character with a pretty good story and really awesome set designs and really awesome soundtrack. And actually helped develop a man crush on Harrison Ford and that's not a bad thing. Come on, seeing him in those action shots, you can't help it. That is my number three and I am sticking to it. Okay, so number two. Coming in at number two is a most recent trilogy that isn't even a decade old but is an awesome adaptation to a comic book and that is the Dark Knight trilogy. I have a poster up there in my room. If you can't see it, it is... It's the Dark Knight trilogy. After the death of Batman and Batman and Robin, Batman was on a pretty low standard. Because you have to admit, Batman and Robin completely killed the franchise. So what Christopher Nolan did, he took Batman and brought it back to life and now people look at Batman completely different now. Instead of just a man running around in a bat suit, people look at him as a pretty damaged dude. And that's what the Dark Knight trilogy illustrated and judging by the name, yes, it's dark. It's very dark indeed. And that's what I love about this trilogy, because that you can take Batman seriously now. And not to mention, it's started a craze which made producers want to take comic book movies more seriously. And most of it is due to the iconic performance as Heath Ledger's Joker. Let's not kid ourselves, he was amazing in that role. The Dark Knight blew my teeth out when I saw it in IMAX. That is actually my favorite of the trilogy, and Batman Begins is my least favorite. It's still a good movie. But out of all the movies, I consider The Dark Knight an absolute classic. It had a great story, great action, and also amazing contrast between hero and villain. And you just gotta love how the Joker just messes with Batman's mind. The Joker isn't even close to beating Batman physically, but he can beat him mentally using fear and that is completely awesome. And it's always nice to see a superhero genre trilogy be completed. Amazing directing by Christopher Nolan who gave us an amazing story with great heroes and great villains and who took a dead franchise back to life and made people care about comic book movies. Took a lot of balls, but he pulled it off. Very deserving in my top two. Okay, so number one. And here it is guys, my most favorite trilogy of all time, and if it isn't obvious as you see in the back, it is the Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> The original Star Wars trilogy, not the prequels. Even though I grew up with the prequels and I loved the prequels as a child, but as I grew up and I watched them again, I realized that they weren't that good. But not the originals though, because the more you watch them, the better they get. Because to me, the original Star Wars trilogy isn't just movies, it's an experience. It's an amazing space adventure coming of age story mixed with a western element to it, and the grittiness and dirty feel to it just makes it feel authentic. Taught many movie makers that you can do anything with a movie. And to not kiss your sister, because that's wrong. That's really wrong, actually. This trilogy had iconic characters, an iconic soundtrack, and an iconic everything, honestly. I would actually catch myself listening to the Star Wars soundtrack in my car, I'm not lying. The Empire Strikes Back soundtrack, solid. That is actually my favorite movie of the trilogy. My least favorite is Return of the Jedi, but it is still an awesome movie. And I heard this from someone that George Lucas once said that Star Wars can work as a silent film. Let the soundtrack take you on a journey. Let it tell its story. And I absolutely agree, the soundtrack is absolutely amazing. I probably said that a hundred times, but you know me, I'm a huge soundtrack guy. Which I also said a hundred times too on my channel. And if you look at Star Wars as a whole, it is like a face of pop culture. I mean, it is everywhere. People will be quoting the movie left and right, and you will too, I promise. Even in fact, misquoting some lines, such as... Luke, I am your father. No! Yeah, it's misquoted, but you know where it's from. The original Star Wars trilogy will always hold a special place in my heart. There's nothing that can take that away from me. Movie-wise, I mean. And that's it. That's my top five trilogies of all time. And I honestly, I have to go because... <laughs> My family's here and they're making tons of noise downstairs. And before I go, I want to know what your guys' top five trilogies are. Are they the same as mine or would you switch them around a bit or are they completely different? It's always nice to have an opinion, so let me know on the comments below. And guys, don't forget to check out Samantha's top five trilogy video, which I'll be leaving a link right here. So check her out and subscribe. She's awesome. Let me know what your guys' top five trilogy is. And as always, there's a link below for my Twitter and my Facebook. Keep in contact with me. But in the meantime, I have to get going. I'll be back.